I just like to say that my son, the person that he is today, is not the same person who entered the military three years ago. I think what we're seeing today is the miracle of consciousness evolving, and I am so, so proud of him. He has gone through a period of conflict, uh, a period of self-doubt at times, and I know when he first made the announcement to me that he was going to refuse to deploy because of the illegality of the war, I was not totally prepared for that. The protective instinct kicked in, and I actually said to my son, please rethink what you're doing, you're going to ruin your life. Um, and Aaron said to me later, he said, Mom, when you first said that to me, I felt really betrayed. I felt that you really discounted the process that I had gone through to make this decision. It's a matter of conscience, and I will follow through no matter what anyone says. And he said, if I can convince even one person to do what is right, then I will have done my best. And if no one agrees with me, and everyone puts me up to ridicule and abuse, I will still follow my conscience. I will even die for this. And I think that I have evolved as a parent in being able to accept that decision and to say, come what may, I honor that, I respect it, and I would not wish for anything else. And I guess I could go on and on about this, um, but all I can say is that I'm very proud of him. Um, I'd like to ask you for your support. Uh, I think that what he is doing will galvanize the anti-war movement and to make a statement to the powers that be that we the people have the power to change history and that that 1% of the population that represents the oil conglomerates and the rich who get richer can no longer mandate and determine our future. I'd like to invite you all on June 27th. It is a day of action throughout the country and groups that are against this war and for peace will be standing up in various kinds of action on behalf of Aaron. Um, they will be making statements through banners, through marching, through demonstrations. And I ask that you be in support of all our democratic institutions and our way of life. Because in the past number of years, we have seen a steady erosion of the rights of what makes America the country that it was. Thank you very much.